Okay, so Simpson's rule is basically just a method of um, finding an integral over some interval. So uh, they'll give you uh, the function f at x, and they'll ask you to find the integral over an interval a to b. So the Simpson's rule basically just states that um, this integral is approximately equal to h divided by 3 times f at x naught plus 4 times f at x 1 plus 2 times f at x 2 times, or sorry, plus 4 times f at x 3 plus, and then it just goes back and forth, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, until so you get to the second last function value. Uh, it's 4 times f at x n minus 1 plus the final function value f at x n with no, nothing multiplied it, just like the first one. And this all is multiplied by h over 3 again. So not again, just tell you again. So h is equal to the interval here, b minus a, divided by n subperiod. Uh, the important part here is that n must be even for this formula to work out. So they could give you, they could ask you to um, find the integral and give you the function and the integral like this, or the interval like this. Um, in which case you would plug in x values to get function values to use in this formula. Or they would just, um, like in the example here, give you x values and corresponding function values. Uh, and ask you to find the approximate value of the integral. Um, so in this case of f at x over 1 to 5. Okay, so we'll just use the formula here h is equal to b minus a, so that's in this case 5 minus 1, divided by n number of subperiods. So here we have 4 subperiods. 5 minus 1 is 4, divided by 4 is 1, so that's your h value. And now we just plug everything in. We have 1 divided by 3 times f at x naught, which is our first one here, 2 plus 4 times f at x 1, which is 4, plus 2 times f at x 2 is 6, plus 4 times f at x 3, which is 8, and then nothing times 10, the last function value. And then we just work out everything in the brackets here. 2 plus 16 is 18, plus 12 is 30, plus 32 is 62, plus 10 is 72, divided by 3 is 24, and uh, that's your final answer.